all just start swarming and it looks like there's more people fighting and then somebody threw a traffic cone? Hey everybody, what's up? Wow, I feel like I haven't just sat down and talked to you guys like this in a long time after doing it every single day for all of December. Like, I know I've posted videos since then, but vlogging is just a different experience. It really just feels like sitting down and chatting with you. And it is just a random Thursday afternoon at like three. And I just felt like starting to vlog because I miss talking to you guys. <sighs> I just finished filming a video and I'm honestly super frustrated because I had to film it like three times because I couldn't see the screen and Ross is in here so nobody could check it for me and the camera kept shutting off for various reasons and I'm literally like about to lose my voice from how many times I had to film that and I'm about to go teach so yikes. I am really excited because it is 46 degrees right now which might not sound warm to some of you guys but if you're in New York you will know that the past few days, it has been like 14 degrees outside and miserable. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna go out for a walk. I have to walk to my lessons, but I'm gonna give myself a little extra time, take the long route and experience the sun as it's gonna go down pretty soon because it's after three. Yikes. Man, I'm ready for summer. Okay, today's agenda, teaching. I'm gonna go teach for the rest of the evening. I gotta edit this video, get some of that done tonight probably. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep up vlogging for a few days, maybe through the weekend. Like I said, it's Thursday, maybe I'll vlog through Sunday. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so the second I stopped filming, I heard all this yelling going on outside my window. And I was like, what is this? So I went and like poked my head out the window to be nosy. And there's this massive group of teenagers. And at first I thought like, <laughs> okay, there have been multiple times where I've thought like some stuff's going down and then it just turns out to be a loud group of teenagers. So I'm like, oh, they're just being loud. And then one girl like kicked the other girl to the ground and there are these two people fighting. And then like, I mean, this is a group of maybe 25 or 30 kids and they all just start swarming and it looks like there's more people fighting. And then somebody threw a traffic cone into the fight and they like, there were cops there. There were cops like walking down the street, just like watching, I don't, <laughs> So there's that. I No, I didn't film it, partially because they are children and partially because if I film literally the ground, it will be very obvious where I live and I already show out my windows anyway, so we don't need any more uh, identifiers. But, huh, there's some drama for your day. <laughs> oh, also it was really scary for a second because, oh, I wonder if those horns, are they still there? Okay, they're still standing like on the street and there are a couple of police cars with their lights on, but it looks like some of them fled. <laughs> huh. Anyway, it kind of scared me for a second because when they threw the one girl to the ground, it was very close to traffic. Like cars were kind of swerving out of the way as this group just poured more and more out into the middle of the road. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm heading out to go teach now and I just wanted to show you guys this amazing coat that my mom got me for Christmas. It's so good. <laughs> oh, Rory's opening the door. Oops. It's this really pretty um, houndstooth print. She also got me this brown sweater that pairs really nicely with it, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I just wanted to show you.
All right, it is almost 8.30. I am done teaching for the night. I am starving. I'm so hungry, but I had some really great lessons today. Just like a lot of exciting stuff. I had a student start back today that used to take lessons with me and then had to quit for about six months. So she's back, so it was fun to see her. And then one of my other students just got a new clarinet and so was very excited about that. So just like, I don't know, a lot of fun things today, but I'm gonna go heat up some leftovers because I am starving. I have leftover chicken immune boosting soup. It's got chicken, kale, chickpeas, carrots, onions, turmeric, all kinds of stuff. I will put the recipe in the description if you're interested. And some little cheesy breads. And I'm all alone, so I have my mom here joining me for dinner. Fun. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon, it is Friday now, about, I don't know, it's probably close to one now. And I teach in the mornings on Fridays, as you probably know if you watch Vlogmas, but, so I'm done teaching for the whole day. I have no more obligations to other people today. And I'm dealing with a little bit of decision paralysis, <laughs> and it's really stupid. I wanna go work in a coffee shop. And I don't know if I want to just like walk to a coffee shop that's nearby and go work there, or if I wanna like go into Manhattan or take the train to another neighborhood in Brooklyn or like just kind of get out of my bubble a little bit. Like I kind of want to do that, you know, but it also seems silly to do that, to just go like work in a coffee shop. All right, decision paralysis is over. I've made a decision. I've decided to compromise with myself. So I'm not gonna stay like, you know, within a couple blocks of my apartment, but I'm also not gonna go that far. So I'm going to trek over to Cobble Hill on foot and go to Poetica Coffee. They have a lot of locations and there's actually one that's closer to me on Atlantic Avenue, but I've never been to this one and it's their like main store. It's the first one that they had and the vibes in the one that I have been to are just immaculate. So I'm excited to check this one out. It's gonna get me out and about a little bit. So yeah, that's a, that's a good compromise, I think. So let's head that way. This does not look good. Guess I'm gonna go find somewhere else. <laughs>
Hello, I am back home. I had a very nice time out. I was out for like a few hours and as you saw, things didn't quite go to plan. I didn't end up at Poetica because they were closed for renovation. So I ended up just walking back up the street toward downtown. I'd seen another place on my way down there that caught my interest. It was called White Noise and it's in downtown Brooklyn. It's on Smith Street. I'll put the address here um, but it was really nice the people in there were very nice the coffee was very good it had good ambiance wasn't super crowded which was good I also just ended up doing a lot of walking around I walked all around Cobble Hill I walked through downtown Brooklyn I walked through Fort Greene a lot of walking it was really nice I really have a tough time in the winter months because I think I kind of just like thrive on being outside and in the sunlight like in the summertime every single day I'm outside as much as I possibly can be and then in the winter months I don't want to because I really hate the cold and I have to kind of like force myself to do it but when I do I'm really glad I've done it but only when it's like 40 degrees so earlier this week it was in the teens tomorrow there's a high of 25 like you are hard pressed to get me to step foot out of the house <sighs> i'm ready for winter to be over i finished up my work and got all comfy now it is about seven o'clock and it is officially dinner time tonight we're doing it real simple with this mexicali salad from trader joe's and some little taquito things that ross bought <laughs> I also have this glass of what is essentially the Christmas punch that I made for my Christmas party over Vlogmas because I had so much like of the red Hawaiian punch and things like that left some frozen orange juice that I kind of just mixed up some semblance of it so see yeah that's pretty close to exactly the same thing cool have a little Christmas in January here because my Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> I gotta take that down like this weekend. You'll probably witness that. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. I just finished watching my video that went up today with Ross. What'd you think? It's very good. Yay, it was my budget guide to living in New York City. If you haven't seen that one yet, please go watch it. So today, I don't really know what the plan is because it is currently 12 degrees outside and that's that's a big no for me. So I don't know, I'll keep you posted, but for a lot of the day at least, we'll probably just be here. Okay guys, it is the time. It is the moment. As I mentioned last night, my Christmas decorations are still up. Besides the ones that were back here because I had to take them down to film a video. <laughs> but the tree is still up and everything else is still up. And it's time to take them down. And let me just explain to you guys that my Christmas decorations are not up on January 15th because I'm lazy. Now don't get me wrong, I'm lazy. My house is a mess because I'm lazy. My life is not together because I'm lazy. But my Christmas decorations are not still up because I'm lazy. My Christmas decorations are still up because taking them down devastates me. <laughs> this is so stupid. It makes me so sad and I just can't handle it. <laughs> but we're doing it now because Ross is here. He's going to help me. He's going to help me get through it, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we have everything disassembled and ready to pack away, so that's good. Okay, so it's been a minute since we last spoke, but we got all the Christmas decorations put away and not much else. We just hung out on the couch and watched a movie, but 
I just noticed something. About the time I started college and was being exposed to people from more places than just my little community that I grew up in, I had noticed or it had been pointed out to me that I say certain things differently. And I've stopped noticing that so much in recent years because I have for the most part lost my southern accent. Also, let me know if you guys ever notice it. I, if you watch my vlogmas and like, you know, heard people uh, in my hometown speak, you know, they have southern accents, which is cool and great and awesome. But from living away, I've kind of lost mine. But if you ever notice it, let me know. I'm always curious if people can still hear it. But the whole point of this is Ross just said the word tournament. And he said it like that, like tournament. And I feel like I always kind of say it just a little more like you throw it away more, right? Like tournament, like, tournament, not tournament. So is Ross just saying it kind of fancy or do I say it uh, a little hick? <laughs> Let me know. Well, that's cute. Another special guest to help us Obviously, we don't want to play with her yet because it's first thing in the morning. And she sits there and looks at us like that. <laughs> what is that? Why is her mouth open? everybody happy sunday afternoon ross and i are about to go brave the cold and do something very exciting we are going ice skating ever since i went ice skating back in december with chilling in prospect park i've really that's the oven um i've really wanted ross to come with me because i had a lot of fun and i didn't expect to like enjoy it so much i mean i guess i just kind of thought yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna fall down a lot and it's gonna be funny, but then I actually didn't really fall down and it was fun. So Ross and I are gonna go skating today. It's kind of been a whole process to figure this out because first of all, I went online and I found this rooftop ice skating rink in Greenpoint at the William Vale Hotel and I thought it looked so nice. Like the view was beautiful. It just looked like so much fun and it wasn't even that expensive. And then I went online and looked at the Google reviews and they were all like one star reviews. Apparently the rink isn't real ice. It's some sort of synthetic material that everyone was having trouble skating on and it just like wasn't even worth it. So that sucks because that would have been really cool. But then today the weather said there was going to be like a high of 39 degrees and Ross and I just planned to go back to the rink at Prospect Park that Cheeling and I went to, because it was nice, but it is outdoors. And it turned out that this high of 39 degrees is not until tonight, like late, because tomorrow is gonna be warmer. Right now it is in the mid 20s and we didn't wanna go ice skate in that. But the solution was we found an indoor rink at Chelsea Piers called the Sky Rink. 
and it looks really nice so we're gonna go there the tickets were twenty dollars and then skate rental is ten dollars so thirty dollars total if you don't have your own skates which we don't although i kind of would like to get a pair considering that i enjoy this i feel like it could be a fun winter pastime and just like i could get cheap skates i don't need anything fancy okay anyway looks really nice we were a little frustrated because we were having trouble figuring out how to register online uh, i was a Bit confusing but I think we got it so we're gonna go do that and I'll take you guys along and let you know how it is are you excited yeah are you gonna fall yeah <laughs> It is so cold outside that I can't even make myself take my hat off to film this because I'm still freezing. It's really, really cold. But anyway, ice skating was so much fun. That rink was really, really nice. I will say the only negative is that there was in fact a time limit. It was an hour and 20 minutes. So they have it set up in like hour and 20 minute chunks that they have the general skate and then they have like hockey practices and stuff in between so that is all you get in comparison to the prospect park ring that i went to in december and i'll put a card to that video here if you're interested i would say like this one's nicer but it's also very like <laughs> i don't know kind of official they have a lot of classes and like i said hockey figure skating type stuff going on there Whereas the Prospect Park one felt a lot more, you know, people like me going to skate. <laughs> Ooh, also the view was really pretty. Since it's out on the piers over the Hudson, you can see the water and New Jersey and um, the skyline, a little bit of it, kind of. So that was really nice too. So yeah, overall, would recommend the rink. It was nice, it was a good time, it was very efficient, people were friendly, even when Ross got in trouble. <laughs> Ross got in trouble a little bit. And I mean, I got Ross in trouble. I asked him to film me, and he was like skating around behind me, filming me, and someone told him that he wasn't allowed to have his phone out on the rink. Excuse me, you're not allowed to have your phone on guys. If you want to take a video, you can go on the side. So that's my bad bit. They were friendly about it. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here though because for the rest of the evening, we're just gonna be staying at home, staying warm. I hope by the time this vlog is posted, it's a little warmer out, but it's still gonna be January, so who knows? So stay warm out there, stay healthy. Both of these things seem to be pretty difficult these days. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really, really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for New York City content every single week. Turn on your bell notifications to be notified every time I post and I will see you in the next one.